As we know, mixed martial arts is one of the toughest sports in the business and it really does give you the highest highs and the lowest lows, the thrill and the agony. Uh, and this one, it's agony. Obviously, I wasn't in there tonight. I just watched the fight between Anthony Lionheart Smith taking on Magomed Ankalaev in what was had to be an unofficial number one contender matchup. You would think so. These are two guys at the top of the food chain and both clawing for a fight at the title. Uh, coming into this one, Magomed was 17-1 and one, with the one loss coming in the final second to Paul Krieg. Um, so a formidable opponent. Anthony Smith himself, though, is a very, very formidable man, but more so than that, because I don't know Magomed, but Anthony Smith is one of the best guys that he could meet. He really is. He's so humble and down to earth. He's a great guy. He's a family man. He's a hard worker. He's a great fighter. He's a funny guy. Obviously, I've got to know him a lot better through my podcast, the Believe You Me podcast, which we host together. And it's going to be tough on Monday if, if he joins us because the fight just finished. Sadly, it didn't go his way. Uh, in the first round, it was very competitive very even in the first round I thought Anthony was doing a great job of countering the it was like a lead right hook of Magomed and uh, Anthony was doing a good job of countering with the right hand he looked dangerous with that uh, and then he kind of stumbled and rolled over and stayed on his back my initial concern at that moment in time was just you know not about his leg I wasn't aware that he'd injured himself at that time I was like Anthony get up get up come on but of course now obviously we know why he didn't get back to his feet because you know well there was discussion between Rogan and DC and the boys that perhaps maybe he rolled his ankle you know but he's saying now that he's broken his leg the Octagon, so sorry, the announcers, Rogan, Anik, DC, Daryl, saying that apparently it looks like he's broken his leg. We just saw him uh, limping out of the octagon. So I'm so sorry, Anthony, if you see this, which I'm, you're not going to see this, but it's so sad, so sad. He's such a great guy and he's such a great fighter. Never mind the personality, never mind the man he is. We're here to talk about the fighting, and he's a fucking great fighter. He's, he was on a great trajectory. I thought he would be a champion. He still might be. Of course, he can come back from this. Uh, but the sport is such a bitch. You know what I mean? Look at that. He throws one kick, it gets checked, and he hurts himself. And he's hurt himself quite badly. Uh, and it's hard to continue you know, in the fight when you've got such a debilitating injury like what he had. Second round, he went out there. It was a close round, the first one, but he spent a bit of time on his back. Ate a few like, little crappy low kicks. 10-9, Ankalaev. Second round, he goes out. I thought he looked really sharp again in round two. We went forward throwing a lot of right hands, being way more aggressive. And then he went for a takedown. And I initially thought that might not have been the best idea. Of course, Magomed is a tremendously talented wrestler. But now, of course, it makes sense. You know, if you've broken an ankle, broken your leg, a fracture, whatever it is, if you've got incredible pain just from standing on your leg, then dancing around the octagon, shimmying, shaking and baking, cutting angles, pivoting and all that stuff, that's damn near next to impossible. So now it makes sense where he tried to get the takedown. He tried and tried and tried. Obviously, uh, Magomed has great takedown defense. He tried to roll to his back, tried to sweep him and all that stuff. And uh, that was when Ankalai have got on top, landed some heavy, heavy shots. Uh, Anthony uh, ate some heavy shots, didn't look hurt, didn't bitch out. The referee stepped in, but I heard Anthony say, my leg's broke, my leg's broke. I'm not sure if that was the reason why the referee stopped it or if it was because of some of the punches. If it was because of the punches, that was an early stoppage in my opinion if it was because he heard Anthony say my leg's broken well then a referee will stop the fight in that situation so uh, it's a tough business you know I know Anthony put a hell of a lot of effort into that training camp uh, went all over the place as the commentators were saying he was in North Carolina he was in Aruba he was, went to all over the place he left no stone unturned um, well, sadly, it wasn't his night tonight. Uh, he will be back, Anthony. Do not give up on your dreams, my friend. You have everything it takes to become champion of the world one day. Ankalaev is a son of a bitch. He's a tough fighter. But more, uh, more than that, you were just very unlucky tonight. You hurt yourself. We've seen it happen many, many times. I mean, Jesus Christ, last week in the main event, look at Tom Aspinall versus um, uh, Curtis Blades. Fucking hell, it only lasted 15 seconds. The week before that, Yair Rodriguez versus Brian Ortega. Ortega pops his shoulder out, you know? This is this is the sport. This is a difficult sport. It's a, I mean, it is the most physical of all sports. And sadly, 
injuries are a part of the game. Now, when you're friends with someone, which I don't give a fuck what you say, I'm not commentating this one, so I can be biased. Anthony Smith is a very good friend of mine. He's a colleague. I work with him at the UFC. I work with him on the podcast, but we're friends as well above everything else. To see that man, you know, my heart goes out to him. It really does. It's such a shame. When you go out there, you put that amount of effort into it, you know, you leave no stone unturned. You make all those sacrifices. You stay away from family, friends. You don't accept certain opportunities that come your way. You turn down paid work because you're focused on the fight. And then you go out there. He walked out. He looked great. He looked confident. He started off looking sharp. And then the man breaks his motherfucking leg. I mean, talk about bad luck. Jesus, you know, and that's it. And that's partly though why this sport is so exciting. And it's not because you see things like that, which is an anticlimactic finish. It's because things like that can happen, you know, and knockouts can happen and submissions and these wild attacks, you know, and you see things that are out of the norm. Every single fight card is something that blows your mind. So that's why we all tune into it. It is the thrill and it is the agony. You know, on one side, you've got Magomed Ankalaev celebrated, asking for a title fight. Often fighters on top of the cage. They're screaming. They're full of it. They're going wild. The adrenaline is surging. You're having the best time of your motherfucking life. There is no better feeling than winning a fight. Winning a fight in the UFC. Winning a fight in the UFC in front of 20,000 people with millions watching worldwide and you get the job done. You jump on that cage and you are victorious after all your hard work, your blood, sweat and tears. But then there's the other side. There's Anthony Smith's side. And I'm sorry, Anthony, that I've got to say that, you know, you know, something goes wrong. It doesn't go your way. You don't get the job done. You ultimately, for whatever reason, you don't get the result that you came for, you know? And some people take it better than others. Some people shrug it off, you know, as if uh, no big deal, you know? But the people that really believe in themselves, that believe they were going to be a world champion, that believe that this fight was their gateway to a title fight, it's a tough pill to swallow. Anthony, rest up. I hope the injury isn't too bad. I hope when you get to the hospital, it's not, a, I hope it's not broken for one. I hope it's not fractured. I hope it's just some kind of deep, intense bone bruise or something like that. I'm not sure what it is. I hope for the best though. I hope for nothing but the best. Don't give up, my friend. We all love watching you fight. You're an incredible fighter. You bring a lot of excitement. You've had some tremendous performances. You're truly a legend of the game. And I still believe that you can be champion of the world one day. I mean, look at me, shit. It took me a, a long, long time. It took me until I was, what? Well, I was in the UFC for 12 years. 12 years before I got a shot at the belt. Ups and downs, lost a lot of fights. Got number one contender fights, lost them. Crawled my way back up, lost that one. Granted, they're on TRT. Climbed my way back up, lost an eyeball. Didn't give up, still lost some fights. You just gotta keep going. If you give up on yourself, that's truly the end of the road. But if you continue to fight, if you continue to train, you continue to stay motivated, stay the course and fight for what you can truly achieve and, and achieve your potential, then this is merely a bump in the road, my friend. Anyway, I was hoping that this was gonna be a celebratory video for Anthony Smith, uh, but it wasn't. That's about it. That's about it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to get back to the other fights. Take care. Bye-bye.